that comes to be just more concrete, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a million abortions every single year, okay? 998,000 of them are because of a form of birth control. Do you find something wrong with that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Charlie's Cake, the base pro-life college student. Guys, let's get straight into this. Yes, but I found common ground with you on abortion and that I completely agree that, you know, whatever you want to call it, a fetus at whatever stage it is, it's alive. Um, there's no, there's no contention on that front. My concern though, and I want to hear your perspective on this, is here in Texas we have the strictest abortion ban in the whole country. There's no exception for rape or incest or for the life of the mother after six weeks. My concern is that the government is mandating that um, people carry out their pregnancies even when it goes against their own life and their own well-being. I can take an example of if, if somebody is threatening to harm you, you have a right to self-defense. Why not have the same, give the same autonomy to people who are pregnant? Okay, thoughtful question, thank you. So, first thing is, if you believe abortion is wrong, which, which you admitted it is, well then, you should obviously have laws that... I'll, I'll clarify, I didn't admit that abortion was wrong. Okay, I then, then said, yeah, please I see clarify. it as a form of self-defense. Okay, right, so, it, that's a new one. <laughs> well, yeah. As the, as the previous person says, that, that, that person inside of you is completely dependent on you in a way different than a, a natural okay. born so, child. So in most cases, rape and incest aside, how did that being get there? I mean, in, in most cases through sex, regardless of rape or incest. Yeah, so yeah. there was a choice made. I see your point. Even with a choice, let's say you invite someone into your home and they still decide to assault you. Does that mean you not have a right to self-defense against them? Well, no, I think that, for example, if you have a bunch of teenagers over to your home and they start wrecking everything, you shouldn't be shocked when mm -hmm. all of a sudden you wake up the next morning and things are ex a little awry. But we're not just talking about wrecking at home. We're talking about wrecking your own body, your mm -hmm. own personal well, autonomy. Well, hold on. Again, rape and incest aside, of which I'm happy to answer and happy to talk about the moral aspect of that, but 98% of all abortions are done as a form of birth control, right? Sure. It's a form of birth control. How did those people get pregnant? Usually through consensual sex. Right. So they, may, they, they are pro-choice. They made a choice to have consensual sex, mm -hmm. and now they want to be able to use scientific medical technology to crush a being that is not them, is a different person, out of convenience? Let's say you have a child who, is, who needs a kidney transplant, and you are the only one who can supply it. At, um, and, you, and you consensually allow them to use that kidney. What if the operation goes too long, they're still kind of using your blood for months on end? Should the government mandate, you know, maybe not kidney? I love these hypotheticals. I, I, I got I to gotta not, not make it funny. But you see where No, you earlier where I going. got the most amazing hypothetical. I, we don't have to overthink this. Like, why should children get the death penalty because their parents decided to have consensual sex? I don't even, understand that. Even, sir, even if you consent to, say, taking care of your child through the, you know, transfusing blood or whatnot, should the government mandate that you have to continue that consensual blood transfusion? Again, under the unrealistic hypothetical, and I reject the whole premise of it's, this. It's the question is, let, 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 let me answer it more day. broadly. Do I think the government should step in to protect and preserve human right, if uh, by be it by mandating, especially when the question is termination or not? Of course the answer is yes. But it says a lot when I, there's a, there's a very serious concrete question and kind of we have to yield to these abstractions, which is fine, the philosophical sides and the kind of the hypotheticals are fine, are, are legitimate, I suppose, in some sense, but it comes to be just more concrete, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a million abortions every single year. Whoa! Okay, 998,000 of them are because of a form of birth control. Do you find something wrong with that? Not necessarily. Okay, I think there is something wrong with that. I think that just looking at the last resort to be able to terminate human life as a form of birth Whoa. control is not just sick, it's immoral. And it says a lot about who we are as a people and kind of the folding of, culture, the fo folding of a cultural life in our nation. And so I'll just ask one final question. When does human life begin? It begins a conception, but that doesn't override the right to bodily autonomy and self-protection. Okay, so that's interesting. So you, you, it does begin at conception. So does that mean someone who is larger than another being has the right to terminate them? Because why, why is it bodily autonomy? Just because the being is in them? The, the size doesn't matter, it's, it's the self-defense. If, if, a, if a toddler is running a knife at you, you can knock it down, you know? It's, 
you ha I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of impromptu here as we That's keep okay. going. That's okay, yeah. Well, so I'll just close with this. Um, don't use that analogy again. Yeah, no, yes. that, was a, that was a bad one. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. Yeah. Thanks. Guys, to be honest, I was very shocked. A million abortions in the year. Bro, it's, it's huge. Like, I, I think it's going to be around 70,000. A million. Bro. A million. Shit. Bro, that, that is huge. That is huge. That is huge. But like, I believe that there are a lot of bread consequences. There are a lot of, you can do a lot of things like to prevent you from getting pregnant. I know teaching rich everyone will not have sex. And there are a lot of things you can do to prevent yourself from getting pregnant. And I feel a lot of people don't take that seriously. That's why they have to make the hard choice. Because you want to have sex. And you know, sex is going to make, going to make you pregnant. Like you having sex, like I said, whether for two, pregnancy for one. Like, if you be have sex, you as a female, you know there's a high risk of you getting pregnant. Except the guy's important or... But you're supposed to take birth control, like, you're supposed to take pills, you're supposed to take post pills. Or like, you go on IVF, I think it's called IVF. But like, you, you have a lot of things to do for you to prevent yourself from getting pregnant. And I just feel some girls don't take it seriously. And that's why the hard decision has to be made. And I'm pro life and I believe that if you don't have you kill someone and they know how you want to say it or how you want to do it, it's going to turn it for the rest of your life. And I believe, like, don't just have sex. If you're not ready for the consequences, don't just have sex. Like, save yourself the stress from thinking about killing an individual. Save yourself from that trauma and thoughts. Okay, guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. First.